टैक्सी गेट पे थी लेटर हाथ में था I cannot believe he he convinced me to do oh this God. video. It was so hard to convince her for this action video because she's the right person to. Sure. More like it's because people have you guys have said to me that my accent sounds fake, which when you, and when you guys said that, I was I was always really really confused about it. So when so when Harnur was like we should make an accent video, I was like no because apparently you guys think my accent is fake. Fake? How can it be fake? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> how how I I've been I was born here. I was raised here. How do why do you guys think that my accent is fake? Like the only thing fake about me is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I am all natural. And if you remember from the previous video we learned about the sounds that differentiate between Indian accent and American accent so you can first watch that and now we will be applying those knowledge into our conversation and implementing we love character development yeah absolutely short revision from the previous lesson t sound is very sharp in indian accent for example daughter which is daughter in america like butter it's butter in america and also like 40 it's 40 right mm -hmm. but here's a e Yes, but what you're but what you're forgetting to do, what you're forgetting to do is you're forgetting to stress. So another thing about the English language, it is not just about about sounds; it's about syllables. He's saying forty, butter, or butter. No, you're what you want to say. You want what you want to do. You're basically he's basically balancing the syllables out. You're not supposed to balance the syllables out. You're supposed to say butter, forty. Oh. So you have to put stress on the first syllable and then you're supposed to relax on the second syllable. God. Together to to was relaxed. Get is stressed. Ther is also is also relaxed. Makes sense. There that while you while you may while yes that is essentially correct and there's nothing wrong with that and I won't say anything against it. It's You have to go be you go beyond the sounds and go the extra mile, extra mile. You you alternate your syllables, syllables, syllables. Also, this reminds me to another fact that there's no consistent one accent in America. There's southern accent, northern northern accent. You want to talk about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. there are there are there actually are a lot of accents. There's like the western. There's the southern droll. Little fancy napkins, little. Um, there is a new Jersey accent. Twenty words that we have collected, which are potentially problematic for non-native speakers, and I will be correcting him and adding any insight that I can possibly come up with. And I apologize because most of these are very, very stereotypical, and I'm of the belief that your accent doesn't really matter. That's me personally. Like you don't need to have the perfect English accent to be fluent in English. Like there are words that I still cannot pronounce, mm -hmm. and. I think because I grew up in a family that also did not speak perfect English. So there are words that to this day I cannot say. Like comfortable. How are you actually supposed to say it? Comfortable. 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 Okay. I can't say it. He might, but I have I and I and I but I can't. And once and it took me so long to even be able to say comfortable. Comfortable. Whatever. But uh, but and but my basically my point is, I the the way I grew up, I don't act I don't actually fit in any of the boxes of American accent. I don't I don't have a Northern American accent. I don't have a Southern American accent. And I just have I I can just speak English. Got it. That's why some of you might think it's fake because you doesn't fit into any stereotypes, which is which is why I'm I encourage you to learn English. For the sake of learning English, you don't unless you are specifically forced into a situation where you have to speak English in an American accent. Don't worry about the accent as long as you, as long as you can speak fluently and clearly and concisely. 
You're good. good. So now I'm gonna use the knowledge that we had learned in the previous video and also from Cambly and use it in our conversation. This video is brought to you by Cambly, an online learning app which not only allows you to learn American accent, British accent, and Australian accent, and other kinds of accent, but also gives you IELTS and TOEFL training. So here's an example. If I want to learn maybe Australian accent, I can just find a tutor and get started. So hi, I'm Harnoor. I am from uh, India and I wanted to learn a little bit about the Australian English slangs and accents. So can you please teach me some? Yes, no worries, mate. I can teach you whatever you like. Uh -huh. What do you want to know? Uh, some of your favorite slangs from Australia. I believe you also say remember other than remember. The R is not that strong, right? Yeah, we say remember. Uh -huh. and <laughs> remember, like with an A. Ah. One of the most crazy things Australian people say is Bob's your uncle. And that's quite a strange thing to say. Uh, when you fix something that you, that you, it's very hard to fix, or if you can't fix it and your friend fixes it, they say, there you go, Bob's your uncle. Wow. And you're like, I don't even know what that means, but Bob's my uncle and he fixed it. So definitely try it out. And if you will use the link in the description below, you will get 25% off discount. So let's start with some of the dialogues that I want to implement that accent part. So first one would be, then I'm gonna to try to speak first in Indian accent. I am going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Now you say in a more natural way. I'm gonna make him an offer that he can't refuse. Say it one more time. I'm going to make him an offer that he can't refuse. That was better. Perfect. You, when you, when, again, not just about the sounds, implement syllable, syllable usage. So next would be one of the dialogue from Crazy Stupid Love. You see, the problem is, your head is like the portions of styrofoam peanut. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see, the problem is your head's like the proportion of a styrofoam peanut. Okay, let me try that again with the correct syllabus. No, I, you I have to be dramatic about it. <laughs> be, let in your inner actor show, let in like the drama. You see, the problem is your head's the shape of a styrofoam peanut. <laughs> I don't think Just I can do JK, that. love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. Happiness is like lighting, blink and you miss it. After that came the fall, when you reach heaven, the fall is devastating. It was, I will give it an, a six out of 10. Okay. No, you... Try saying the word devastating again. Devastating. There you go. You said something completely different and you're going to cringe when you, when you, when you start editing this morning, right now. You start, when you start editing this, the, what you actually said before you said devastating is going to make you cringe. Devastating. Uh-huh. You'll, like, you'll figure it out. You, okay. You'll figure it out. They'll be the first to know. <laughs> it's devastating. Things that you probably didn't know about me. Fun fact. I am I am in drama. But and some things that we have we do in my in my theater classes is we do tongue twisters to help to help improve our pronunciation of English. And and mind you, these tongue twisters are hard for me. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what happens when I make him do it. Sure, let's try it. I'm down for it. You ready? Yeah. You sure? Absolutely. Will your ego not be completely, completely no, no, not at all. I'm run ready. over by... But I promise you will be destroyed when you will try be trying to speak some of the Hindi tongue twister, but let's start with You this. know what? Okay, fine. I won't go easy on you then. Let, let's try this one. Okay. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pick of pickle Piper peppers a peck of pickled peppers peter picked be peter <laughs> okay a peck of pickle a peck of pickled peppers peter piper pickle picked oh god at that point you're not even worrying about your indian accent you're just basically trying to get through the sentence yeah but I peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where is the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Go ahead, your turn. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of, pe peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Oh my god. <laughs> that was phenomenal. I guess you have done a lot of practice before giving this task to me. Actually, no. Oh. But it's my turn. Point one. Okay. Me, obviously. My turn. 
चंदू की चाची के चंदू की चाची को चांदनी चौक से चंदी चम्मच से चिट्ठी चलाई गोयल चंदू के चाचा ने चंदू की चाची को चांदनी चौक में चंदी की चमचे से चटनी चखाई Good job. Um you did a lot better than the first one. Which wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? He would chuck wood as much as he could. Chuck as much wood as a wood chuck could wood wood chuck could chuck wood. Whoa. All right, any more? I I I don't believe it. You must have memorized all of them. I don't believe I, it. No, I, I, I didn't. Believe. I you did. I okay, know. look, I learned other tongue twisters. I have memorized other tongue twisters. Yes. But these are ones I have not memorized. I did memorize the Peter Piper pick the pack of pickles. I had that one memorized, but I had not had this one memorized. Got it. I'm exposing myself. You're welcome. Pakke ped par pakka papita, pakda ped ya pakka papita. Say it three times, back to back. Pakke ped par pakka papita, pakda ped ya pakka papita. Pakke ped ped par pakka papita, pakda ped ya pakka papita. Pakke ped par pakka papita, pakka ye ped ya pakka papita. Better, but not the best. Well, obviously, why you say it? No, if I, I have to do it three times, so do you. Finally, now is the time that she's gonna be speaking some of her favorite Hindi dialogues, and I guess you already know my favorite Hindi dialogue. Oh uh, no! Can we? Okay, you know what? It's been fun. I'm not doing this part. Please, <laughs> I, I I did all those tongue twisters. Now it's your okay. turn. Okay, okay. Okay, you did. So my favorite dialogue is the one that I've said so many times in my videos. You know, taxi gate with, with the, you know, for someone who is so obsessed with the American accent, you're sure as I'm not speaking the American accent right now. Oh, if you want me to do, if you want me to do your do your Hindi dialogues, you have to speak, you have to speak, come only in an English accent for the rest of this video. How can I speak Hindi with English accent? You know, have to speak in, you have to speak English. And and you have to you are, you only can speak in an English accent for the rest of this video. No 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 <laughs> that's unfair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Taxi gate pe thi letter hat me tha ek baar zara se himmat pad ke hoti to saali saari zindagi kuch aur hoti. Ek baar zara se himmat kar li. Ek baar zara se himmat kar li hoti. तो साली सारी जिंदगी कुछ और होती करेक्ट रिश्ते में तो हम तुम्हारे बाप लगते हैं बट नाम है रिश्ते में हो तुम तुम्हारे बाप लगते हैं नाम शहनशाह ओके नेक्स्ट विद बी आज मेरे पास गाड़ी है बंगला है पैसा है तुम्हारे पास क्या है आज मेरे पास गाड़ी है बंगला है पैसा है तुम्हारे पास क्या है गाड़ी नहीं गाड़ी घड़ी नहीं गाड़ी 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 व्हाट इज डू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ गाड़ी कार या ओके थैंक गॉड व्हाट डू यू आई से घड़ी था था नहीं मैंने ना डू यू नो द डू यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ हिपोप्लास मॉस्टोसिस क्विपेडिलिफोबिया But I know it's a kind of fear because phobia means fear. That's it. What kind I've... of? No. It's a big fear of big long words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much, Sage, for correcting my accent. I hope I'll be able to deliver a little bit better than before. I'm I'm sure you did pretty. You honestly did pretty well. Oh. No, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything about the tongue twisters. All I'm gonna say is. 
Okay. <laughs>